Hello guys, Mars Fremens here. Welcome back to my Unreal Engine 5 short tutorial series. In this episode, I can show you how to do a scene and a sequence setup. Epic Games is pretty cool because every month they give few of the marketplace items for free to everybody. Some of the items are available for a limited time, but some of them are available permanently. So if you are new in Unreal Engine, don't be afraid, you're gonna be able to make the same scene as I do. So in Epic Game Launcher, under the marketplace, we're gonna go to the free section and let's choose the permanently free collection. So here we can see everything that is available permanently for free for everyone. Let's go to the page number 4 and we're gonna choose Modular Sci-Fi Season 2 Starter Bundle. Open it up and then let's press Add to Project. Once you have successfully added assets to the project, we're gonna find the scene map for it. We're gonna be using Example Dynamic Blue Map. And here we are into the scene. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna find the meta human and we're just gonna drag it into the scene. So let's find the meta human blueprint and let's put it in into the scene. Let's pull it up a bit. So the feet is aligned to the surface. Here you go. Now we can just rotate it 90 degrees and here you go. I'm just gonna move it a tiny bit more forward so we can have the depth. And I think it looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna change the LOD to zero so the hair is not disappearing when we are moving away from the character. So as you can see, everything's good. Now we can go back to the content. We can open the sequence and we're just gonna create a new sequence. So we're gonna animation and level sequence. You can name it as, as you want. I'm just gonna name it dance sequence. And first we can add, we're gonna create a camera. Let's click on the create sequence camera. So now we're gonna have a camera in the scene. And next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the meta human and we're just gonna drag and drop it into the scene. In this part of the tutorial, we're not gonna use control rigs so we can delete them. They are located under the body and face. Just click on it and delete it. Now let's modify camera settings so it matches the phone aspect ratio. In the film back, we're just gonna choose 16 by 9 DSLR and to match the phone aspect ratio, we just need to switch the sensor width with height. So let's just switch these two numbers and now we can see we basically have like a phone view. Next, we can adjust the camera. If your camera is selected, then always on the right side of your screen, you're gonna see camera preview. And let's just move it so we can kind of center and fit the character into the frame. And if you click on the camera icon, then we go back to the camera view. Now let's put this arrow down and let's adjust the aperture to 1.4. So the character is in the focus and the black is a bit blurry. So next thing what we're going to do is we're going to add animation to the meta human. So let's click on track animation and let's find the animation that we're going to use. We're going to use hip hop dance animation. As you can say, animation is working perfectly. Let's find like where we want to start animation from and we can kind of keyframe it with a camera. Now we're going to work on camera movement. Let's first find the camera one end frame where we want it to be let's say after two seconds or three seconds, let's put three and let's keyframe it. Something we can do, let's exit the camera and move it back a bit and let's keyframe that. Let's change both points to the linear because that it means that there's not gonna be any kind of weird acceleration or anything like that. So it means that camera gonna move all the time at the same speed. We animated our first camera movement. So camera just gonna start farther away and then after three seconds, it's gonna reach the character. So now let's add the second camera. Let's again, click on the camera icon and let's move up to the camera cut. Which camera cuts you tell on Unreal Engine which camera you wanna use in particular moment. So when you're gonna do the final rendering on Unreal Engine know which camera and which second it needs to use. And there are multiple ways how to approach uh, switching between multiple cameras. Some people prefer for each shot to put separate camera. I usually like to use as least cameras as possible. Something that we're gonna do particular in this project is while we are on the camera one, we're gonna move the camera number two in its position. And while we are using camera two, we're gonna use camera one and we're just gonna switch between two cameras. Next thing I'm gonna show you how you can mix different kind of animations together. So let's make a right click on existing animation. Let's go to edit. Let's choose split. Now let's import the other animation. Let's hit the plus sign at animation. Let's find other hip hop dance animation and let's click it. 
Now we're just gonna drag it a bit to make overlap so the transition between the animations are smooth. And you can add as many animations you want and you can just keep cutting and mixing together to get the best results. And that's it, scene is ready to render. Just make sure that output format is JPEG or PNG and we can just render it. And that's it. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.